I want to share with you a secret, if you're willing to hear it. Under cover of moonlight, they assembled, all approaching the seers of the grove, doing so in silence. The most holy place, a stone altar, a dolmen, sacred circle of trees. The ancient Israelites were a loosely confederated people of ancient Syria and Canaan related to the Hurrians, an Amorite group. The people of the east called them the Amuru, or Westerners. And they feared their intellect and their independence. The materialistic Egyptians hated them, calling them the Hyksos. To the south, the people of Edom, later to be known as the Jews, envied and despised the Israelites, a hatred that continues today. These ancient men of the groves were later, after many migrations, greatly revered as the Druids. The secrets these men protected of oak and alder, willow and cedars of Lebanon were believed by all, because the Druid spoke and his word became the will of the trees. You can speak in like manner. Trees are alive. They communicate with each other. Their roots are vast neural networks with electromagnetic pulses conveying vast amounts of information. A tree knows what the forest knows. It feels the signals passing through the deeper waters, the messages contained in rocks. The tree feels the skies by 10,000 resonators, we call leaves, that feel the vibrations carried from afar. If you were the druid, then you would find a quiet place. You would find your tree. It would be located in your secret grove. Because this tree is constructed with an interactive whole sphere of flowing data, because this tree is connected to, enmeshed with, and a reflection of everything else in the perceivable reality, this tree can serve you as a conduit of communication between you and the reality you seek to bring about. The world of phenomena is magically responsive. Be the druid. Speak those things you seek to experience to your tree and know it is certain that these thought constructs will be absorbed into the holographic essence of the tree itself, flow through its branches to emit through the air and travel at light speed through underground signals to every point of living geometry in your reality tunnels. What you speak as true to the tree, the tree will assume to be true and become a powerful broadcaster of your intent. We live in the simulacrum, and this environment has nodes of activity that serve as tools. I assure you, my friends, there is power in the groves.